Hey everyone, today we're going to be going over how to do collaboration with Git and GitHub. I've been working on a project that's a private repository uh, with some of my friends and I just wanted to make a video to try to get everyone up to speed with how to work with um, teammates on GitHub. So first I just want to go over um, really simply what this repository is. It's called uh, Super Secret Project and it's just um, a Vite Create React app um, with uh, a use state counter down here and just really bare bones but uh, first uh, if your project is private you have to make sure that you share it to your other team members in the settings and collaborators so I've already shared it to my second account and we'll be using that and um, have your teammates check their uh, mail um, just to see if they got an invitation to join the repository if not, make sure you copy this link and just send them the link and they can go to their um, browser and then just open it and accept the invitation. All right, so now that I've expect, accepted the invitation on my second account, I can go back and on my um, owner account, I can see that um, my second account is currently a collaborator. So now we're gonna be focusing mainly on um, this account now. So first off, um, what you would do is copy this link down here and then we're gonna git clone it in our terminal. So I'm just gonna say git clone. And then here it's gonna ask for my username because we, since it's a private repository, we need to get um, the credentials to make sure uh, it's not just anyone being able to access this. All right, so here for the password, GitHub has um, deprecated their old uh, username password authentication and now you're gonna uh, be required to have a personal access token. So the top right, make sure you press your um, your uh, profile picture and then go to settings. Scroll all the way down to developer settings and we're gonna create a personal access token. It can just be a classic one. Generate a new token. Here, I'm just gonna call this um, uh, test token. I'm gonna set this as seven days but um, if you don't want to do this too often, I would probably just set a little, um, uh, set the expiration date to a further date where you can keep on reusing this one, um, token. So I'm just going to give it a few, um, of these. We don't really need that. Uh, let's see. Really, we just need, I think the repository is one. Is there one? Okay, that looks good. I think we should be good, yeah. All right, so most of these we don't really need, but yeah. Anyways, um, you won't be able to see this um, code again, so make sure you copy it and save it somewhere safe. I'm not gonna be using this account, so I won't be saving this, but um, we're just gonna go back to our password here, and then we're going to copy and paste. So um, you can either use Command V if you're on Mac, Control V if you're on Windows, or you can um, see if you have a paste um, button on your terminal. I don't have one, so I'm going to be using the uh, keyboard shortcut. And after uh, you paste, you won't be able to see what you just put in So um, for privacy reasons, and then you'll just press enter. All right, there we go. We have our um, repository cloned. And now I'm going to CD into it. And here, um, we need to download all of the packages required. So yarn install. You can use yarn too, but um, I'm coming from NPM, so usually I just use yarn install but yeah I guess you could use yarn too all right and now you're gonna do yarn dev actually I want to open this first we're gonna open it in VS code and then yarn dev great it's running and I'm just going to whoops, copy this link paste it here all right we have the project running and say I do want to change some of the uh, things in here so like SRC I'm going to um, let's see. Here, instead of React, we're going to say React. I love Fight and React. All right, and then if we go back, uh, we can see the changes here. And say I do want to um, push this as a new change, I would say change. Um, uh, what do we call this? Change title to change, yeah, right, let's just say change title. And then we're gonna commit. Okay, 
you should probably sign we should probably sign into I just logged out of git so let's sign into git to um, configurate globally your username for git and here I'm just gonna add in the username for my second account enter and then this is the email one that we need so make sure you do add that git Oops. Um, All right, let's see if we can commit now. Great, so now we're able to commit and sync the changes. That just pushes it to um, the main repository. So I'm gonna check over here. All right, great, so now it's working. Um, but the problem is I do, most of um, the projects are going to be protected and I'm gonna turn on protection for this one, this main project. GitHub branches allow users to and developers to develop features, fix bugs, and uh, work with new ideas in a contained area of um, your repository. So say if you're working on a feature, like say we're working on changing this title and we accidentally break the entire app, it's okay because we can roll back to a previous branch or um, going back to the main branch basically. So basically what we're just keeping the main branch as um, code that we know is ready for maybe not production ready, but at least it runs. And branches are places where you can experiment with new features um, that might break the app, and um, you still have like a main branch that you can go back to if you do break your um, current branch. So what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna branch out. Um, I wanna create a branch. Um, we're gonna call this uh, changes to title. And then we're gonna map this to the head. And so now we're on a different branch. You can check if you go to your terminal and let's say git, which terminal am I? Okay, yeah, there we go. Sorry, that was my terminal kind of messed up, but um, it does tell us right here, changes to title. That's the branch we're currently on. If you wanna look at um, the other branches, this is main and we have um, um, changes to title, which is the one highlighted right here with the star. Okay, so I'm gonna change this to say um, React is the best. And underneath, I want another H1 that says Byte is also cool. And let's make sure that we do have, uh, okay, sorry, I'm on the wrong browser. All right, so yeah, this is the one running on the second account, the second GitHub account. Um, Is it not running here? It might have not ran, sorry. Uh, yarn dev. Okay. All right, so yeah, we do have um, our changes showing up. So now I'm pretty, Pretty cool with the uh, titles, so I'm going to commit this. Final title changes. Oops. Title changes. I'm gonna commit this, and I'm gonna publish the branch. So now um, we're gonna switch over to um, the owner of the branch over here. Uh, I'm going to look at this, and or sorry, the owner of the repository. So um, I'm gonna be looking here at the active branches and I can see there's been changes by one of my collaborators. This is my second account that we just uh, created. So I'm gonna press new pull request. Uh, I'm gonna check to see if any code, um, usually you have like one of your team members check out the code to review it to make sure there's no issues. And they can also um, check out to your branch to make sure everything's running well. And so here, um, great. So. I took this, deleted this, and added these two lines. This H1 doesn't look like it'll break anything, and it passes all the checks, so create the merge request. And review, okay. Merging, these are blocked because I just did the, um, I did the, um, I protected the branch. So now uh, we need someone else to check um, the pull request. So this is the second account now. I'm gonna add my review real quick. All right, looks good. It's just those lines. Approve, submit. All right, so we do have approval and now we can merge 
confirm merge. Great. Now we have everything pushed to main. You can delete the branch if you want. Um, usually I don't just in case I do want to have um, some fallbacks and we can go back and check out the old code. But um, I'm just going to pull from um, the main now. So since we know that, um, okay, I'm gonna actually open up another terminal over here. So we can see that we're still on the changes to title git branch and we don't want that, right? We wanna go back to the main because everyone's gonna be um, collaborating on the main and that's gonna be the newest thing that everyone has all their finished uh, features on. So I'm going to go back to main and we can do that by going to source control, pressing these three dots and check out two. This moves us to a different branch and we're going back to the main. And I do want to sync the changes from, um, from GitHub. And there we go. On our, we're currently on our main branch. Yep, we're on our main branch. And it does have our two H2, H1s that we added in the last commit. All right. So I think that's about it for collaboration on GitHub. Um, Git really makes it really Git really makes it easy with um, branches and all these uh, review options. So yeah, make sure you take advantage of them.